I can break these bars. You can't break those bars. Find your spirit crystal. Don't do that. Bro, is that materia? And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. <laughs> by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, <laughs> no, you don't no, call it a no. rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility <laughs> of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. No, oh, you gotta hold that. You can use that to, to kill somebody. I just don't want you to believe that it has magical powers. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to. I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. Excuse me? I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was saying you disgust me, Murray. Fine arts. He Murray was apartment. working with this shady guy. His name was That's Joe. I think it was Joe yeah. Kerr or something. There's exactly zero money to make, so I thought you tell me it was insane, rightfully, because it would be. Say nothing. You say it best when you say say nothing. Say. I mean, I considered it. I wanted to tell you about it. Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. Lady, go get your I crystal, okay? Stop freaking out. It would have taken me away from you. I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... Uh, it's crazy that at the time this is going on, say? there's literally a dude being turned into a red mist to change with this. by a ceiling-hanging scythe. <laughs> Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. I know. The crystals come first. Better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get Whoa. the fuck out of here. Take the, take the crystal. Thank you. Redeemed. It keeps Kate during calm events. It helps keep Kate during calm events. Did I miss a word? Or did they miss a word? I felt like they missed a word. That's not a door. <laughs> this is a mirror. Let me... Bro, give me my space, okay? I don't know which doors around here are locked and which ones aren't. So why don't you give me, like, a foot of clearance behind me? Because I'm going to be doing a lot of 180s, Okay. Me when I'm running in a dream. Bro, what did I just say? It's a little helper in the yellow coat. Where do I know this girl from? First off, she's not a girl, okay? She's a professional actress. Secondly, maybe uh, in the aptly titled I'm Thinking of Ending when? Things. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. <laughs> Shelby's That's making me him. laugh so <laughs> The guy in the back. You know him? Kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. 
Dude, that's that's James Gunn's brother. That's Sean Gunn. It was my fault. He is always around. He's in every single one of his brother's movies. I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. There's a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when it... That's Dude, when it was the guy who does the sexy wood chopping. Okay. I know exactly be. what you're talking about. It hey, it's the Wessel Pigeon. Knows. Thanks for the gifted Someone subscriptions. Thank this. you. What the hell is that? I have no idea. You know the one. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Holy flirt. Get over here, now. Charlie! <laughs> No, your thumbs, dude. I'm very sensitive to this right now. I can't hold this. Listen, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now. Jamie, Charlie. Charlie. What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Look for the others. Just that I needed is it. Mark Z. Danieluski architected this house. My ass couldn't even get around when it was just like a rectangle. Uh, What's going on? Matt, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Yeah, well, I, once we catch up to Demet, we'll ask him what the hell he's doing here. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Dumet? You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? It's a jigsaw type situation. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. No, it makes it even more likely Dumet is coming back with the pizzas. And then when Dumet gets here, we'll ask him what his advice is for this situation. I mean, he, he's the owner of the hotel. He's got to know what to do when it's... Mr. Dumet! Mr. Dumet! Your murder hotel walls are closing in on us! What would you... Fucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. The Shut damn up. brick wall, I man. I don't want to think about it. That's where I keep my bricks. What, you guys don't like my bricks? Trying to map this in my head. You and me both, brother. I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice, too. It's not a creepy I kid. They're scared. Snapping. Creepy it? kid is when they go, like, come play with us. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. It's a pole. Wait, he was right? It really was just an animal? <laughs> So the last time I make fun of Charlie. And then Dumet's in here is like, sorry, dinner's taking a little longer than expected. Why, you guys didn't think I left or anything, did you? <laughs> oh no, dude, you know what this is? What? This is Scary Movie 2. You know? Where Malcolm in the Middle's brother the has to give, or has Are to you get a, you know what, from Cindy in order to not freeze to death. Trapped in a hotel. Stranded on an island, 
Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room... Charlie! I found a way out, maybe. <laughs> Look. This one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. No. <laughs> He's so strong, dude. Ah, ah. He knows my name. Charlie? Fuck. Jamie! <laughs> Holy Chibli, this game is so ass. Thank you for recommending it. I, I can't, I can't breathe. Let's fast forward a little. This is, she's a big fan of Selected Ambient oh, Works Volume 2. Gotta hear this. Hear what? <laughs> Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? It's not funny, guys. I've recently Charlie? went through a very traumatic experience. Jamie? The hell is really is Archive 81. My ass would be staying in the room. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a... <laughs> Wait, she has asthma. You can't go in there. Look at all the bareborn particles. Hold on. Don't stop. She's juiced now. No amount of dust particles in the air could stop her. Look at that VO2 max. Treatment for what? Silver Ash Institute. Snake oil. Genuine snake oil. The Silver Ash Institute. I'm starting to think... Not everything's on the up and up with this hotel. This is what my ass looked like when they finally gave me antibiotics at the emergency room. They were like, how are you feeling? I was like, pretty good. I think I'm going to die. And they're like, well, we're 99% sure you need antibiotics, but let's just spend like 12 hours doing a bunch of differential diagnosis first so that somebody 71 years from now that actually needs the antibiotics doesn't have them rendered slightly less effective as a result of us overprescribing them. I'm not bitter or anything. Yeah, do it. Do it. Push the push the button. Mr. Dumet, I want my team dead. I'll get them to you this weekend. Just Jesus. What the hell? Charlie. That's not Charlie. That's the that's an imposter. That did not sound like Charlie. Who's the cutie in well, the pic you posted? Fuck you, Jamie. Whoa. Who, Aaron? Please, my type is badass bitch, not timid woodland creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. What the hell? Bro, they took all our phones. They made this all up. That was just, that was Chad GPT-3 
going through Liarbird to make Charlie seem like he was actually, he set this all up. They're trying to play with my mind right now. I need to trust other people, okay? If I trust other people, we're going to make it out of here. Dear Mr. Thompson, why don't you leave me the hell alone? Dear Miss Monday, I have tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behavior in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently. During gym class this week, his teacher noticed he came to school with severe bruising on his legs. We're very concerned about his welfare. That child is the devil. She's not the devil, mama. Did she show me her boobies? I like them too. You know, uh, uh, the water boy? Plus two for the water boy <laughs> reference. Really? All right, I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Sherlock 2014. A whole carton this time. I like those smokes. You time. knew I'd like those smokes. Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save them. Save them. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Oh, you seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. You know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27, but we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time and me? to try and beat that. I reckon I've got 451. Sure, That's nice right. Zero, four, five, one. But the numbers the DA is asking me about, I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched I'm not like those girl. other killers, officer. I'm a sick fucking freak. Art. I'm irredeemable That's in all ways. I don't know society. if you've ever heard this one before, officer. I get a it's sick sense of pleasure out of this shit. To what this I'm really messed up. Ask people to list serial killers. Shit that and other people find unpleasant, they can think of I enjoy. Ask them to name the detectives that caught Sitting those down and having a nice cup of tea no with a good book never appealed to me, officer. Thing. My tastes no are a little knows. bit more <laughs> twisted than that. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on TV. Starbucks? Can I get you anything from no Starbucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have a little bit of uh, a little bit of violence. Officer, thank you. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? All right. I'm starting to think this guy's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Officer, have you seen a movie called American Psycho? I don't want to be here. Sorry, my mistake. Wait, no, I do want to be here. No, I don't want to be here. I want to go out through these these double doors. No, never mind. Examine the doctor? Bro, he's holding a syringe. I don't want to get close to this guy. Jamie? Jamie? Hello. 
I said good morning. Aaron? You there? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Why is he what so soy jack, dude? You're not safe, Aaron. How are... You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. What the heck? He is bad chesting. Where are you? I don't... <laughs> Just listen. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now, just trust me, okay? <gasps> Straight up, I trust her. I'm going for it. Do I think that possibly it's it's GPT-3? Yes. It could be an AI voice. The voice was not her? Bro, the voice was her. She probably has a gun to her head and Triple H is like, tell her to hide in the closet, it's the only way. We're testing to see if she still trusts you after she read those deep fake texts we put for her to clearly see. He's not, he's not testing me, he's testing humanity, okay? What are you trying to light up the whole neighborhood in here? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. Okay, let's bend what the bars. Are, are we locked in here? I can bend these Looks bars. Like, yeah. Wait. You hear that? Yeah, Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. W what's going on with the subtitles? Oh, I see. It was subtitling the, our, our dinner conversation from earlier. Mark's mannequin is so is good. This? It looks like nothing like him at all. <laughs> and he did all that, spent all that time sewing. Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. What has Charlie gotten us into? This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see... Dream why am I sitting fun. here? Why is they that our conversation? And why am I bald? Right. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? I'm bald. Me looking in the mirror, age 19. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? I'm looking for a gift for my aunt. It's gonna look at me. It's gonna look at me. They're gonna, I'm gonna, the next, whatever one, the last one you examine, it's gonna be looking off to the side, and then it's gonna go, and he's gonna go, what the frick? I'm on to you. Jesus, it looks just like him. There's no <laughs> way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of Kind days. of. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. It must be Mr. Dumet coming back with the dinner. Watch out. If I were there, I'd be hungry as hell by now. Dude, me too. Like, I don't want to go through this shit full, but hungry? I'd be out here, like, holding my breath. My stomach would give me away. Like, 
like when you eat a little bit of breakfast, but you're stressed out, so your metabolism runs a little faster, and then you're like 15 minutes into your grade nine science exam, it's three hours long. Don't bash him, don't bash him. Jamie. You're like, they're like, what's the powerhouse of the cell? And you're, you're so in the auditorium, your guys. stomach just going. We have to get the hell out of here. I'm glad you're okay. Also, what happened? What happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. A mask? Wait, hang on. <laughs> Where's it's Charles? almost 2023. We got separated. No way this is happening. Where does he live? Canada? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, dead. shut Bodies. it up! Dead. 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 Who was that? There's an eyeball. This... It's fake. That's probably, I'm that's a wolf's eye. I've seen a lot of wolf's eyes in my days. That's a wolf's eye. I can tell by the optic nerve. It's not real, that's corn syrup. Let's get out it's of here. corn syrup and a, and a gyroscope to make it look like it's real. That's it. Oh, it's locked. What's going on? If only we had a credit the card right now. Is locked too. <laughs> you want to play around? Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. Me looking at the Amazon delivery driver on my ring camera. Uh, uh, sir, sir, I need a signature. You sick fuck. If you think I'm going to fall for that. You have to turn into a wolf and then tunnel under the door. Jamie! Hello! Jamie! He knows okay? my name. <laughs> you, is <laughs> how you sound when you wake up in the morning and you're like, I only had two beers. And then you remember buying the cans and they're all called like, you know, Satan's liver. It's a quadruple IPA, 14%. It has like a, like a gargoyle on the damn can. Uh -huh. Satan's Alley. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just a bit of fire. Cage key. Okay. I'll open my cage. And I'll be doing just fine. Bro, how am I supposed to operate that fuse box without a multimeter? I'm screwed. Chicago killer, victim number one. Cause of death, abdominal injuries. Me after I eat the uh, vindaloo. Plus two, plus two. I honestly thought this was a tent at first. Now I see it's a dead body. John Doe number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. 
Lois, I have, I'm an identified male with multiple stab wounds. This reminds me of Chicago victim number two. Remember, Lois? Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. We found the killer. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy. Is oh, burning. but sure, when your dentist does it, you're like, here's $1,500. Make it make sense. Doesn't really look like a log book. It looks more like it's made out of leather and paper. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. This is just not going to happen. Ryan has left me a note saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belknap will allow me to contact him. What is going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room and... Monica has just left. I can't contact... I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will return to the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. What? Just a bit of journaling. Power on. Power off. There you go. Look at that. It's just that easy. What have I done? All the serial killers be like in the opera, huh? Be just my luck if I got like captured by a serial killer, he'd be blasting like Leonard Skinner or something like that. My final moments, it wouldn't even be like an a, a incredible aria or something like that. I'd be strapped into the chair. Be like, give me three steps, give me three steps, say, Mister, give me three steps for the door. Let's flip this one. I'm just gonna flip every switch I see, quite frankly. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, that's why. You fell down the trap too, eh? Well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. That's me? What do you mean, that's you? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a doll. This could be like an earnest, scared, stupid situation where like a... A goblin turned a real person into an inanimate doll, okay? We gotta, like, use authentic Bulgarian Miak in order to transmogrify him again. If you don't mind, I'll just, like, sw just flip this indiscriminately flipping switches. I don't like this. A little scared of this. It's the room where it happens. Our baby is so active. I hear I hear a lot of activity going on up there. There's no doubt about that. I guess it's a good sign that post uh, post vaccine she's she's doing okay. I can't believe I got two more days of this. I hear ya. I don't know what else to say. I am in baby jail. <laughs> I'm telling you, our daycare is like, it's the only person that takes more days off than me.
I hope she's enjoying her holiday. Use the credit card. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Did anyone die yet? No, I have a perfect track record in these games. Because I'm crazy media literate. So I know the, they always try to, they try to trap you with some stuff. A noble! Bro, put it in your pocket. Remember when you choked that guy to death in House of Ashes? Excuse me, he was not a sympathetic character, for one. And for two, he uh, threatened the sympathetic characters. So yeah, I, I choked him out, out of self-defense. I didn't tell him to have such a collapsible windpipe. Hold on, three fire or one fire? I mean, normally I'd prefer zero fire, but I suppose if it's the choice between three or one, I'd probably say one is better. <laughs> Investigate the screaming. Remember when Ashley Tisdale died? Yeah, but I didn't kill her. She got bitten by a vampire. And then, like, one person got bitten by a vampire, and I was like, we can save them, we can find a cure. And then their ass turned into a vampire. And I regretted that decision. So when Ashley Tisdale was like, oh, I'm feeling like my teeth are getting a little sharp, I feel like I'm starting to crave human flesh, I was like, okay, bye. Okay, this is now disabled, apparently. By the way, Kate, I don't know if you're watching this, but if I ever get like, um, if there's like a real zombie apocalypse at some point and I get bitten, don't kill me. Like just exile me. Like just like a little bit before I'm about to turn, just be like, bye. And I'll just go like live with the zombies. I'm not saying that they're gonna find a cure. I'm just saying, Hi, honey. I'm just saying maybe I'll just have a rewarding life as a zombie. Hello. Hi. Are you having fun? Yeah. Thank you. are playing with mommy? Yeah. I just want to see you. Hi, honey. Why don't you show the camera what you got? Can you hold it up? What's that? It's a Pikachu. It's Pikachu. And a chipmunk. And a chipmunk. Hmm? Why, do we pick it? Why did you pick it? Yeah. Well, you picked it. Remember, we went to fly over Canada, yeah. but then you weren't tall enough to get Pika. on the ride. <laughs> Is it Pikachu? Yeah. Can I? I don't think there is a Charmander, but you can see Charizard. Maybe you can ask for Charmander. <laughs> There's Charizard, look! Is it Charizard? Yeah. I just... Please put a Charmander, please. Please put a Charmander, please? A Gengar! Where's, yeah. where's Gengar? She saw a Gengar. Please put... There, it. that's Gengar! You see Gengar? Gengar! <laughs> <laughs> Genga, Pika, the Genga. <laughs> she does know the Pokemon names better than Dan. Cause I I taught her. Yeah. Pika surfing away. Pikachu is surfing away. Yeah. He's surfing. Genga. Gengar got do him you away. Have a Is there a Litten emote or a Trico? She loves Litten, Trico, Bulbasaur. There's the, the, the lizard is kind of like Trico. They do have Sceptile, but she doesn't know Sceptile. 
Bulbasaur? Did they have Bulbasaur? Is there a Bulbasaur emote anywhere? There's a lot of Pokemon emotes, huh? Oh, there's a Jigglypuff. I saw the Jigglypuff. She likes Chansey. Oh, there's Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? <laughs> Wait, who's the blue guy? <laughs> there's a Bulbasaur. Stop. Oh, there's Chansey. Stop posting the green squeaks trying to confuse my daughter. <laughs> hmm? Squirtle! You saw Squirtle. Uh, all they have is Charizard, honey. They have Ditto. She loves Ditto. Is there, isn't there like a dancing Ditto emoji or something? I think it's BTTV. Ah. Oh, no, Ditto! There's a Ditto there. You see him? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the ditto. Ditto. Look at those nice <laughs> Look at all these nice, nice dittos. dittos. Are, are you having fun with mommy? Yeah. What did you do? We painted, we read books, we cooked, we danced. Uh, we did literally everything that was uh, possible that, that human can do. Dance. <laughs> yeah. can, you, can you dance with me? Can I dance with you? Yeah. Here, ready? Hello. Upstairs. Daddy can't go upstairs for just a little bit, okay? You're going to have lunch with mommy, right? Yeah. You want new pasta? Daddy. I see. Daddy. Daddy cooked new pasta. I cooked new pasta last night. Dad, but why you got clothes? I've got clothes in here because oh, Daddy... No, she's, she's auditing. She's desk auditing me. Daddy oh, had to clear out the dryer before we went to Emo's house, but Daddy didn't have time to fold it, so he just moved it in the laundry basket into his office. <laughs> Bye bye, honey. Enjoy lunch. I'll see you. We'll play when daddy's done, okay? We'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm glad we found an opportunity to get it paused. You never know what could have popped up on the screen in this game. Give her a weird phobia about uh, mannequins for the rest of her life. Ever tell you I was scared of elevators when I was a kid? Never knew why. Then one time I was like 15 or 16, I told my mom. And she was like, oh yeah, one time you were like with your dad in an elevator and he was goofing around and jumped up and down and then the elevator got stuck and they had to like rescue you. I think it happened like before I, I had memory or maybe I blacked it out. I was like, no wonder I was scared of elevators. You know, I'm not scared of elevators at all anymore, but still, when like I'm on an elevator and someone's jumping, I'm just like, why would you do that? Because it's like, it's, it's funny until it isn't. Like, even if we got stuck in the elevator, like, I know we're not going to die, but we'd at least be, like, inconvenient. I'm only 45 minutes away from needing a toilet break at, like, any given second. So, like, keep jumping in the elevator if you want to take the seat next to, like, where I have to piss in the corner soon. Didn't think that through, did you? Wow. My cigarettes! Praise the Lord. It's I'm sure there's nothing strange going on with this. No, do not, do not smoke the cigarette. It's going to be one of those exploding cigarettes that's going to... It's made of poison. He lost his lighter. It's going to be like a cartoon cigarette, man. Hello? Guy comes into the room. Go ahead, Charlie. Smoke the cigarette. Just know the cigarette is filled with carcinogenic chemicals that every single one of them very slightly increases your risk of getting cancer and heart disease long term. What's he doing? 
Make your choice, Charlie. Will you smoke the cigarette and risk the long-term health effects of nicotine addiction? Or will you shake off the yoke of Philip Morris? You have 30 years to decide. I can bend these bars. Looking outside on the pavement during a hot day be like... Don't light the cigarette. You're going to explode. Hey! Hey, hello! It's I'm just here. a little bit of vapor. I'm... POV, you're my food in the microwave. No, no, no! Come on! He's done. He's probably okay. <laughs> Why'd you let him cook? <laughs> He's like, ooh, getting hot in here. I better take off my jacket. Holy cow. Um, lift the grate, dude. It, when there's fire, you have to get low. But he did it though! Bro, you got it up the way you go down there! Lift the grade! Oh my god, don't make me choose again, please. See, they wanted to test your resolve. They gave you a signal that it was like the wrong thing to do, but they gave you that little piece of data that, oh no, he's the fuck dude, he's turned himself, what, that's not what I thought, I thought there'd be like a tunnel or something down there. <laughs> he's putting himself on the bottom rack. All right, in hindsight, I think I should have tried to force the door. <laughs> he literally... Dude was like, well, I'm gonna die. I'm at least gonna make cleanup easy. You gotta respect that. Things are starting to heat up. He might be alive, by the way. We did not... Usually in these games, when someone dies, they die. You, like, see their eyes go, like... It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark and Kate... We did not see that. We just saw him go, Ah! Ah! ...things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage. You're gonna to offer me a hint? Thank a you. Hint to even the odds. Here's a hint. When what two do doors think? are in front of you, don't take the right one. Let's Sorry, that's all I can say. From the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits Bad motionless chest? like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. Thanks for nothing. Kylo Ren's gonna show up and save us. Here's a t 
tip, don't Let's lock yourself in the oven. Best of luck. Oh, man. I can't believe he just pulled the the grate off and then, like, laid down down there. I don't think he's dead. I, With God as my witness, I think he's still alive. I don't think he was getting that door open. Do you see it was made out of, like, solid stone blocks? I, he did. He did put the grate back. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. What the hell? I'm watching them, they're watching me. What the fuck? Wait, you hear that? Yeah. From down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it's it. another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Find a way out. I mean, I got a flashlight. You can keep using your Nikon cool picks if you want, but... Yeah, dude, it's simple science. Heat rises. Is this a good idea? I'm not saying he was completely safe from the temperature, because obviously there was smoke rising from his body, and he was going, Ah! 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 <laughs> but, uh... I think he, he probably was able to escape from the worst of it. She's right, it is very yummy. It's butternut squash filled uh, ravioli. Where the hell are we? HelloFresh been kind of wilding out. Ma make it make sense to me. Open up the HelloFresh yesterday. It said it's supposed to have 350 grams of ravioli. It said due to a supply shortage, we had to send you an alternate ravioli, 700 grams. How, how are me, my wife, and an infant, well, she's a toddler, but supposed to eat almost a kilogram of, of ravioli? I'm not mad, I guess you got more for less, but like, same thing, like the, the meal that Kate posted like a week ago. They were, they were supposed to have mozzarella, like just shredded mozzarella cheese. They said, due to a supply shortage, we had to send you fresh mozzarella instead. Okay, maybe, honestly, it'd be nice if the supplies stayed shorted. Because you're being forced to send me, like, higher quality ingredients. Columbus Spa. I thought you canceled it. Somehow, HelloFresh returned. <laughs> Columbus Spa. <laughs> I am in the gulag. Sure, I'll head down into the pool. Why not? Uh, who? I guess I should just be jogging. I don't know why I'm... I feel like I would not be jogging in this situation IRL. There were no utensils in medieval times, hence there are no utensils at medieval times. Also, they didn't have forks, but they had Pepsi. Man, I got a lot of tables. All right, where? Oh, we got a shimmy. My mistake. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, brother. Take your time. One one person could shimmy at a time. There we go. Something useful around here. You feeling okay, man? And I need a little space. I'm, I'm approaching the exit. I'm gonna need a little space. <laughs> I get it. You're scared, okay? You're scared. Scared of being a nobody.
I gotta tell you, as someone who had a Mark, couple's massage, give me a hand. I'm not totally sure that I get it. Three, two, one, it's just like, go. like getting a massage is like a solitary activity. But you're like getting a massage together, alone together. Okay. Yeah, I think it'd be better. They should reverse it. We'll so a Stay couple there. of masseuses give me a massage. Oh, that hurt. What? This wasn't in the script. I... Story? What story? They didn't stack you guys up like a double cheeseburger? I wish, brother. We were just on like different tables. Huh? <laughs> Do you remember what the hint, hint was? Yeah, it was like, be afraid of spiders. There's a thousand radiations on a spider's web. Well, hope that helps. Best of luck to you. You listening to the damn Monster Mash? What's going on here? Wait a minute. Frank Haldeman? Frank Haldeman. Here comes a scare. Never mind. A noble! Yoink. Plot twist. They are... Uh, the hotel owner is trying to kill me because I keep stealing his priceless Roman gold. I'm disrupting his coin collection. Oh, are we lining up for the scare? What's good with that old lady from before? Oh yeah, um, sometimes these games do that as well. Stay close. Obviously. They'll like introduce like a, um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's not a Chekhov's gun, but they'll be like, hey, this person's gonna be important later. And then they just forget about them for like three hours. And then at the end, they're like, surprise, it's the old lady. And you're like, I know. You, <laughs> you showed me a scene of her. What the fuck just happened? It's not really like a red herring. Like, I'm sure her ass is involved, probably. The writers sort of forgot about the, the golden company. All right, hey, buddy. I know you're scared of heights. This should be fun. <laughs> Chekhov's landmine. I'm telling you, dude, Chekhov's crystal is going to come in handy here. What the around. hell? It's too dark, dude. This is giving me damn motion sickness. An oval! There's got to be a way through. Maybe you could, like, turn the flash on or something? That was a 10-banger. Holy cow. Bro, I can't be down here. I'm going to throw up. This lighting is going to make me throw up. Get me out. Mark, can you lead the way? This is easily the most ass flashlight I've ever seen in my life. No point just standing around. I know!
Turn the, the gamma up? Dude, this is on like 75. They always tell you like, um, you know, crank it up until that middle thing is barely visible. I'd be making it clearly visible. I'm like five seconds away from breathing like she is. Oh, we gotta cross this way. Oh, we did all. We really went down there just for an obel. There must be a way out. I assure you, I do not care. Shimmy, perhaps we need to shimmy. We need to make a jump. Oh, we're, okay. Here we are again. And then all that just to get back up. I'm sure. It was a 10-banger. Listen, I'm not trying to say, like, uh, they didn't compensate me fairly, but... I think he just died down there. I think he was a bit impaled himself on an exposed piece of rebar. There must be something useful around here. Rip to Mark. He died doing what he loved. Loved. Mark, Selectively I mean, having a shit. crippling fear of heights at times when it's convenient, but just honestly, just kind of like man-moding it when it's not. See ya! He loved living. I gotta hand it to you. She married for love. She loves money. Boo! Hey, what are you going to do? Huh. Hmm. The floor's out now? Yeah, the floor's out now. Oh, shimmying across a decrepit hotel floor? I guess that's a thing we do now. Uh, if only I'd worn my shimmying shoes today. If I'd known we were going to be doing this, I wouldn't have worn. I would have worn closed footwear. Hey, did any of you guys happen to see a creepy guy in a mask? He's right behind me, isn't he? Monica! Yeah, sure, I'll press this. Why not? This is uh, the end of chess boxing number two. Her belly was a key. Yo, what, so does this guy play winner or like what happens? Spa master. How do you know my Peloton username? Ryan Hart. It's me right there. Senior demolition laborer. Number eight, Ryan Hart. Collect all ten. And you can mint them into a diamond construction worker ID card, which can then be augmented with up to four slurp juices, which will be airdropped to your wallet at our earliest convenience, unless all of our C-level executives are arrested in Puerto Rico before we deploy the code. Jesse! Mark, 
Jamie? Here. Okay. We're okay. We We're just okay. kind of walked off Thank on God. me there. Well, but that's not true. I guess they kind of fell down a slide, you. huh? He's wearing like tap dancing shoes. You gotta be like slightly more observant. Hear that? It's, it's the same jump scare every time. It's just like that whole time. You didn't know that he was right behind you. 181. This is how many people have, have died in the murder holes. No! Wait, okay, so there's the ground 